Greetings, my dear friends, and welcome to Blood Bar Tycoon. The demo is available on Steam, so it seemed uh, amusing. So I thought I'd uh, indulge. What current save? There isn't one. If awareness reaches its maximum, the game is over. Yes, apparently you have to protect the masquerade. Which is always fun. Find an ideal location. Alrighty. Rotate the camera. Oh, right mouse button to rotate. Okay, good. Select a minion. Eternal life, they said. Master, you are here. How can I serve you? You can... You can remove that soiled mattress, is what you can do. And I leave now. No! Get to work. Furniture. We need a table. Cheap metal one. Or oh, just a cheap table. Yeah. And some actually go with the plastic stools. Twenty dollar plastic stools. Place a beer pump. Okay. <coughs> oh, used beer pump. Open the bar. Okay. Click there to open it. This is going to give me even more work. You poor pathetic minion. Open the minion's file. How do we do that? Select the minion. Oh, okay. I thought I'd done that. Apparently I was just de-clicking something else. Priority management. Click on a minion to open its menu. Go to the priorities tab and activate the autonomy button to make the minion autonomous. Oh! Autonomous minions are the best minions. As long as they're vaguely intelligent. Drag and drop tasks to rearrange them. High tasks will take priority. Okay. Um, priorities. You know, that works, I think. Automate cleaning. Okay. A free tip from the Vamp Hire Agency. Rearrange your minions' task priority by dragging and dropping in the desired order. Well, let's just say he can do all of those. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to get a beer? Sure! Don't forget to feed your minions. Hmm. Select worker. Right click the human and consume him. <gasps> Munch! Yum 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 yum. Well fed minion is a happy minion. A happy minion's more effective minion. 
More efficiency means more profit. Yes, I do get the idea. <laughs> okay. Good job I've already automated all this. I don't have to do it myself. Increase the bar's prestige. Open the furniture menu, add tables, chairs, and decorative items, of course. Ah, multiple items by holding down shift. Okay, and now we want six humans. Um... Okay, well, let's put a nicer table in the back with some nicer chairs. There we go. There we go. Cheap blackboard. It's the sort of thing that I think should go outside, but fair enough. Cheap neon flame. Hell yes. Where is that going? that go outside? No. Damn. Okay. Perfect. Just where I wanted it. Okay. Hi, I'm Yumiko, and you, who are you? Nice to meet you, Yumiko. Let me introduce myself. You know what? I couldn't care less about your life. LOL. Let's get down to business. I'm giving you direct access to the only vampire minion agency worth its name. The Vampire Agency. Vampire Agency? You're not the sharpest fangs in the crypt, are you? You remind me of that old geezer Vlad. The Vampire Agency allows you to hire minions if you can afford it. Well, let's go to the agency then. <coughs> Hiring your first minion will cost you more. This is what it costs to annoy Yumiko. Okay, well, let's irritate Yumiko then. <laughs> Okay. Um. Well, uh, sorry, Emmerich, but Zafira, Celine, and Taylor. Uh, well, Zafira and Celine are both level five. Apologies, Taylor. I'll have a look at both of them just in case. Oh, she can wipe people's memories. That's useful, actually. Which is quite smart. All research points. Ooh. Okay. They can all wipe people's memory. Fair enough. Average minion. Average. 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 Hmm. Yeah, 
Selene's cheaper. Uh, great choice. With proper training, your minion can even become autonomous and tidy. Well. You know what? I want to grab Taylor as well, just because she's so damn smart. Back to the bar. To properly train your minions, set their priorities right away through their personal file. Okay. Um... I don't know. Yeah, that works, I think. Place a fridge. We need a fridge. Okay. Oh, what are we doing here? Minion management. Actually, yeah. Priorities. Okay. Fair enough. Awareness. Good. Good, good. Um, we need a fridge. A mirror. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll get a mirror somehow. Blood bag fridge. Just twenty blood bags. Ah. Store. Okay. Papa Grenier. Your blood bags will be delivered promptly. Thank you for choosing our services. Mm -hmm. Polite. Mm. That's a vampire. <laughs> Serving vampires is essential for the bar's survival. Remember, vampires won't wait around to be served. It's always important to have enough chairs available. Raising your prestige can attract more humans and vampires. More prestige means more occupied chairs and naturally more fresh blood to serve. Mm -hmm. Vladimir de la Ligne. Hmm, you managed to open a blood bar in this godforsaken place. To whom do I owe the pleasure? You don't know me, I am Vladimir. 
the most powerful vampire master of Crimson City. I want to help you raise these human cattle to feed our kind. Um, yeah, thanks. The help of a great master is welcome. Someone reasonable at last. I'll give you a small capital to upgrade the standing of your blood bar in this district. Okay. What did he give me? Ooh. Reasonable amount of money. Construction. Expanding rooms, etc. Yeah, I think I can work that out. Click and hold outside of existing rooms. Right. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Barry, closing up. Piss off, everyone. Extension of construction. Okay. Not entirely sure how that wants to work, but whatever. We'll limit this one to vampires only. Ooh, vampire theme to get decorate your new VIP room. And place a table. <laughs> well, a minute. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we need to repay the master by achieving two and a half thousand dollars in sales. Surely we can manage this. Not without the bar being open though. Huh. Oh, 
Betsy and Silvana. Well, that's fun. Plenty of kindred coming in. No one is any the wiser about any of it. Low blood storage. Bloody hell. <sighs> Low blood stock increases the risk of incidents. I like how that sounds, but I also don't think we should risk it. there, I think, is good. I feel like we're going to need to start uh, draining people soon. You have achieved your goals. Interesting. <coughs> As a reward, I will entrust you with another of my bars that you will transform into a blood factory. You intrigue me, sir. What is a blood factory? Taking blood at its source would cost us much less, and as a bonus, with some research, we can obtain new flavors. Now, dear aspirant, I strongly encourage you to move to the next level. We have research to do. However, you can hang around here a bit longer, even though you can come back later. Yeah, no, yeah, let's move on. Okay, cool. Little lane... Blackmire District. Looks like Vladimir on the phone there. Blood bags. Hmm, okay, let's check out Blackmire. 
dare to explore a district where only the most daring or reckless venture near a waste factory frequented by beggars, thugs, and vampires with secrets to hide. There you are at last. I almost had to wait. I warn you that you do not have all eternity to make my business prosper. Who do you think you are? I'm an independent vampire. I am. I answer to no one. No, we'll suck up to him. You won't regret the trust you've placed in me, master. Very well. It would be a shame if you were to meet the same fate as your predecessor. Uh, what happened to him? If you don't get moving, you will suffer the ultimate death like him. Okay. Okay. Look. You... Get to automatically doing things. You too. Ah. This is interesting. How does one go about... So I could just plop it down there, but that seems wrong. I will anyway, though, just to hurry things along. Oh no! Unwelcome visit from an investigator! Here's what they look like. They behave like normal humans until they begin their investigation. Well then, if an investigator discovers something suspicious in your blood bar, he will trigger a panic. It is crucial to eliminate him quickly. Eliminating them reduces awareness. Which is at 64, Jesus. That's, um... Okay. Just get rid of him. Bam! In his face. You really think gave that nosy jerk a beating? Next time, if you need help, you can hire me through the vigilance interface. Maeve O'Connor. Hmm. Hadrian von Kopeck. Good evening, young vampire. Do you need a little financial help? Aren't you Baron von Kopeck? Ho ho ho, you know me. It's true that all vampires know the best banker in Crimson City. How to refuse a little help. It's not just a little help, my young vampire friend, but the golden opportunity of a loan with very favourable terms. 
Well, it depends on your point of view. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. The suck bank can grant you a loan. Of course they can. Now. That was a mistake. Because we need more room in here. He's a bit hungry. Dear, vampire law requires all vampire activity to remain in the shadows. Avoid problems. Leave no witnesses after an incident. In case of panic, select the abyssal wrath power at the bottom right of the screen, then click on troublesome witnesses to make them disappear. Yay, a panic! They're so funny when... I didn't catch that. Okay. Abyssal Wrath. Ah, ah. ah, amazing. You managed the panic. Don't miss any witnesses. You need to avoid getting noticed as it attracts vampire hunters. No problem, Vlad. We're at four awareness. Three now. You left me with 64, you son of a bitch. 
but there does seem some uh, very um, obvious parallels between some of the vampires in this and some of the clans in Vampire the Masquerade. At least that's certainly how it seems to me. Like this fellow, Aquiel, certainly looks like he's a Bruja to me. Ah, anyway. I think I need to purchase some blood packs. Yes, we have no blood. Go to the bank, get a loan from the bank. I'd really rather not get a loan from the bank. But I suppose we have to, don't we? Finances, bank. Basics suck. Hmm. Okay, 25,000. That'll do. Hmm. Capture a human. Build a new room for minions. First. Okay. Through the vampire door. Ah, uh, room assignment. Minions. There we go. Buy a detention cell. Um, assuming furniture. No. Ah, machines. Okay, detention cell. Prioritize capture. I don't think I need to. I think Zephira is already on it. But I suppose it does need to be prioritized. There we go. Well, well, you've managed to transform this establishment. Now we need to make it thrive. Obviously, Vlad here is Nosferatu. What would you advise me, Grand Master? We need to extract blood from the humans who come to drink at our blood bar, so that it becomes self-sufficient and brings us more money. In summary, you're asking me to whip up a blood brewery. Exactly, your insight amazes me. From now on, you can acquire blood extraction machines. I advise you to install them in a staff-only room to avoid drawing attention. Okay. Apparently we've already got a machines manager. That's, that's good to know. Hmm. Okay, machines, detention cells, and corpse management. Okay. Well, we need a blood extraction machine, don't we? Blood distiller. Automatically. Oh. <laughs> They're quite clean, but you still needed to build them toilets so they can take care of their basic needs. Why didn't I think of that before? Don't forget to build toilets for our human friends. This will help you avoid minor issues related to their nature. Well, that's obviously a Toreador. Uh, let's... Look, you know what? We need to close up. Get the fuck out. Ah, 
Ah, that's how you, um... Right, clicky. Fair enough. Okay. Now... What are we into toilets? That's right. Build these horrible, horrible humans. Actually, we'll build them a basic, but decent. Set of facilities. Um. Hang on, where the there? Okay. No, when you hydrate a human. Oh, great. Ah, toilets are a perfect spot to feast on isolated humans. That's good to know. Let's build a couple more. Now, a basic sink on the wall, and another one next to it. Strangely, no mirrors. I know there are mirrors available, but I'm not putting them anywhere. Because, why would I do that? Okay, let's open up. Um, oh, I don't have the blood distiller, do I? Ha! Huh. I kind of needed to do that. My brewery is finally ready. I almost had to wait, but you did a good job. Um, thanks, Vlad, I think. Oh no, they've wet themselves in terror. That amuses me. Machine management. Well, that can be this person's. My brewery is finally ready. I almost had to wait, but you did a good job. I'm sure he said that already. don't even kill them. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's useful. <laughs> well, the fridge is full. Mm -hmm. So let's build another one. Also, pinball machine. Because why the why the hell not? Mm. 
Good evening, my sweet. I need a special order of twenty bags of blood for a passionate evening. Oh, how could I refuse the request of such a prestigious person, Sophie Arlington, who is also clearly a Toreador? You could almost make me blush, my little sweet, if, if, if that was still possible. Do we have a deal? It will be delivered as soon as possible. Expect the most beautiful reward if you satisfy me, my sweet. Okay, fair enough. Increased blood quality. Okay. Quality to five on a machine. Prepare an order. Delivery missions tab in the store. There we go. Apparently I had enough anyway. Okay, obtained 30 research points, I'm well on my way to that. Unlock the arcade trap, buy an arcade trap, and trap a human. Okay. An arcade trap. Oh, straight to detention via a trapdoor. I like that. That's right. I was going to put a dartboard here. Zephira, do your bloody job, please. It's not your job to be playing darts. It's your job to be serving people and vampires and people to vampires. This is a little bit of Evil Genius mixed with, um, is it Ravenous Devils? With the cannibalism? Good fun, anyway. Finally, the research is complete. You can buy a human trap to facilitate the management, the management of my blood bar. Okay, that was a very colourful-looking human. Who are you, bats? Eh? Fair enough, Batsy, it is. Okay, trap. <laughs> and I think it's only fitting that it's in the bathroom, actually. Oh, and this fellow's going to 
go and have a game. We have to watch this. Fanglevania. Oh, hell yes. What the? Nah. You're going to be drained. Somebody hop on the Fanglevania machine. It's there to be played. Staggering out, drained of blood. Staggering back in. Because apparently she's been rehypnotized. Not going to complain, it looks like very colourful blood. it could just be I need more free detention cells. She ends up getting juiced anyway. <laughs> Is it true that you now make home deliveries? Absolutely, what would you like? Mm, bloody slushies, they're so good. I want lots of them for tomorrow. What's well, bloody slushy, and uh, are you sure about the quantity? What? You don't know? It's frozen blood. You get it from humans stuck in ice blocks in funny poses. Oh, damn. I actually only need 20. I got the wrong list. At a guess, Malkavian for Yumiko Nonbiri. Okay. 
offers us the kawaii theme to decorate our blood bars. Since we amused her, she will send us generous clients. That's fun. But I'm not ready to redecorate yet. Obtain 50 research points, place a bloody ice crusher, prepare an order, send 20 bloody slushies. <laughs> I think, actually, it might not be a terrible idea to hire a new minion. Astrid, oh, Raphael, 152 intelligence, Skylar, or Lilith. I think Raphael is certainly the smartest of the bunch. Now, where the hell is he? There. Okay, you're already perfectly autonomous. Good. I like it when my minions do the thing that I want them to do by themselves. Hell yes. <laughs> Let's kick everyone out. To completely redecorate. thing we're going to keep is the uh, dartboard and the pinball machine. Everything else, all new and incredibly pink. <laughs> because why not? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Now... A wall shelf. A neon cat. Because <laughs> of course. Now we're going to have some mirrors in the bathroom. 
but only the heart-shaped ones. Because <laughs> this is just ridiculous. on the wall next to the back room. Love frame, because why not? Okay. Pink chalkboard. Okay, that's utterly ridiculous. Let's open. <clears throat> oh, nearly got the 50 research points, though. I'll also uh, give my kindred customers a pinball machine, because they might like it. Who knows? Can't really have them coming out into the main bar and Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I need more blood storage. Probably also another blood distiller. Yep. There we go. Just hurry the process on a bit. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, I've got the right amount of research points now. Bloody ice crusher. It's, uh, Wesley Crusher's name in the mirror universe. Um, machine. Bloody ice crusher. Where shall it go? The only place is there. Now... Oh... Uh, we'll that to five as well.
come along, sir, if you would, over here. Okay, no, that outfit, apart from the colour scheme, is <laughs> familiar to me. frozen people. <clears throat> okay, we need a new minion just for cleaning shit up. Sorry, Magnus, but uh, your main duty now consists of cleaning. Ah, good. <coughs> Drink up, my uh, kindred friends. Otherwise, our uh, coffers will be overflowing, shall we say. And I'll have to get another blood fridge. Won't that be terrible?
Damn it. Should be good for blood capacity now for a while. Okay, so I've got eleven of the twenty that I need. Okay, fine. I was just trying to get him to eat that one. Mortal clientele beverage. The blood bar must have the capacity to serve humans. They represent the raw material for blood production for your vampire clients. Of course. I'm out of booze, it would seem. That's not good. Um... There we go, that should satisfy them at least for a little while. Now... And twenty bloody slashies. Come on. <laughs> Just throw that one into the sewers. It'll be fine. No, he's you know, put it in the in the morgue. Well, let's empty that out. Uh, 
that one's been drained as well. Oh no. Bloody Sundays. Lots of them, please. Maybe I need another bloody ice crusher. Upgrading things, is it? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yumiko has been helping us out from the beginning and she's given us some very we wealthy clients. So, the least we can do is help her out with some bloody slushies. Especially if... Well... Let's just say some of our clientele are a bit... Oh dear. Excuse me, Zephira. Can you maybe get to work, please?
Okay, I'm going to see if closing up will... Uh, fix her. Oh, what the hell? Who is it this time? Oh! Wow. Um, okay. Gonna have to fire her then. Let's hire Rosalind in her place. And Esmeralda as well. Why not? <coughs> Just why not? Open up. Let's speed things up, because we can. I actually really am thinking I need a couple more of these. Well, one more anyway. Kindly step on the ice maker, thank you. Now become frozen solid. Okay, now we're done. I heard you accepted special blood orders for home delivery. Absolutely, it's very profitable for our blood bar. Hmm, very good initiative, but don't forget you are at my service. 
Of course, I am at your command, undisputed master. Very well, dear aspirant. Your goal is to achieve at least $25,000 in profits and 50 blood bags in stock. Okay, well, I've got the blood bags. Convinced Vladimir of your management skills, he entrusts you with the management of a new blood bar with a decent starting treasury, apparently. Oh, you have achieved your goals. To reward you, I will get you out of your dump by entrusting you with a higher class blood bar on the rusty street. You are too good and magnanimous master. You're one of the best managers I've had in my service so far. I can't wait for you to take possession of your new blood bar. Go to the new district. And that's the end of the demo. Okay, you've completed the demo of Blood Bar Tycoon. The free mode is now available until the game's release. If you enjoyed your experience, add the game to your wish list. Thanks for your support. I have to say, I thoroughly did enjoy this. It's fun. I may well purchase it on release. Anyway, that's enough from me. That was Blood Bar Tycoon. Lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and farewell for now.